All right. So what we're doing here is we're drawing an ellipse. We're given the major axis of 120. We're given the minor axis of 80. So that means we have a radius 60 for our large circle, and we have a radius 40 for our smaller circle. When you're drawing an ellipse, you want to have your 30, 60 degree set square, which is this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw all of the angles possible off that set square from our center point. So in total, we'll have a 60 degree going in both directions, a 30 degree going in both directions, and we also have a vertical and horizontal. So what that's going to leave us with, it'll leave us with 12 equal segments, like 12 slices of, of, a, of a pie. So we divide that up. And you can see our 12 segments. Now the next stage with the ellipse is to look at each of the individual lines we've just drawn and note where it hits the outside circle, the larger major circle. Where it does that, on the top half, we're going to drop the lines straight down. So we're looking at each segment, hits the large circle, drop it down. At the same time, we're looking where the same line hits the smaller circle and we're going to bring it outwards. And those two lines are going to cross over each other. Now where they cross over each other is a point on my ellipse. Okay. So if I was to mark off the top points, I have left and right, I have the very top one, and then I have my four crossover points that I've just found. The bottom of the ellipse is done exactly the same, except this time when I'm following my angle line out, it hits the large circle, I'm not going to drop it down this time, instead I'm going to bring it up. So it's just the reverse. The other step remains the same, where the line comes out, hits the small circle, I'm going to bring that outwards, and again it'll cross over exactly as it did on the top part of my ellipse. We mark off those points where they cross over, and what you'll find is that we end up with 12 points which are going to be on our curve. If you're sketching an ellipse, this is where a lot of lads lose marks. So when you're sketching in an ellipse, you should hold your pencil at the furthest end if you can, okay, if possible, just to allow you to actually room to kind of arc it around. Also, don't try and just start at one point, go the whole way around, and then finish where you started. It won't, it's very hard to do a curve like that. What you should do is do it in segments. So I always find the best way to do it is to blend in, let's say, the top three points, blend them together. Then go to the bottom three. I then concentrate on the tree on the left, the tree on the right. So play around with the curve a little bit. And then I would blend those together. Then you'll end up with your curve. So I do like you to start off with, and when you're happy with the curve that you've done, you can go over that heavy.